building real businesses, not fake stuff. So it needs patience. You can help them better than yeah. those 22 year old kids who are hacking your content. I don't think there's anyone in the room that would not want their business, their message, their thing amplified. What are the essentials that you must do? Starting with what you had talked with me downstairs about is just making the decision to do That's it. That's it. I'm literally pissed at a lot of you guys in this room. I had David Bach on my channel and nobody knew who he was. <laughs> like, this guy's got seven million books, you don't know who he is. I had Jay Abraham on my channel, my audience, nobody knew who he was. I was born in 1980, so I'm, I'm the first of the millennials when we started. Millennials have no idea who these people are because they're not in the platforms I had. And so Rome wasn't built in a day, but it didn't crumble in a day either. Anybody who's not on YouTube and Instagram and the platforms that matter right now, your business is crumbling. Even though you think it's super successful, it's crumbling because you're relying on methods that you optimize and are amazing at, but they're slowly, slowly, slowly dying off. You can still crush it and win off of cold calling, but the effectiveness is dropping. Where you could invest that dollar into YouTube or Instagram or whatever the next thing is that comes along and get 10x the returns. And so, not everybody needs to build a personal brand. I don't, I don't know a lot of the faces here, but I think you have a responsibility to be on the platforms that matter. How do you monetize it? So, so right now we monetize through advertising, through brand deals, through deals with Penguin Random House. Um, I invest everything back into my company and my team. I do like one for people on my team. Um, there's three of us here today. On, on a deal with Dean, like I'm losing money. But but I love the, like I love Dean. I want him to win so hard, like it's it's if he didn't commit to like doing more YouTube, I wouldn't sleep for the next two weeks. I would be just pissed off and then find some way to like DM him or something to say, Dean, like you have to. It's your responsibility. So right now I'm focused on building building my brand and, and trying to support the people. Like Dan, you look at his strategies. You got you got 22 year old business coaches on Instagram and YouTube taking Dan's content and building a business off of it. Love it. <laughs> right, but like, like with zero credit, and, and but it's your responsibility to share the message. Love it. Right? So. Give to a show. Because you can help them better than yeah. those 22 year old kids who are hacking your content. That's why you give a shit. Because yeah, your content sure. means something well, yeah. and it's powerful. There's and you have a responsibility to get it out there. It's not about them stealing your stuff. Amazing. But there's an entire generation who doesn't have access to the actual knowledge which is inside your head, and in my view, that's your responsibility to get out there and share it. So Evan, like of the ways you get revenue, would you say the brand deals are the primarily the, the engine that you can feed back into your business right now? Because I imagine. Yeah, for now, brand deals and advertising, I think I run a slightly different model than, than you guys. Like Dean's building up attention so he can sell his courses and programs and all that. Right. I don't have courses or programs that you can buy from me, but it should be supplemented unless you guys just want to be a YouTube influencer. It's, it's a way to spread the message about your business so that you can grow your so business. Afford your business yeah. Right, so like right. you building your brand. So downstairs, as an example, um, Joe's assistant, Gina, saying like, oh, this, that guy's amazing. Okay. You, you're on, you're on the TV downstairs. I'm like, great. Yeah. <laughs> like, he's a genius. Not just because of genius, like, you guys are all geniuses because you're here. I'm like, I have no idea who that guy is. Yeah. And now maybe he wants to be behind the scenes. Some people they excel being behind the scenes, but I heard you just wrote a new book. Yeah. You need to be front and center. I should know who you are. As a guy who has the biggest YouTube channel for entrepreneurs around, I should know who you are. But if you're a thought leader and expert, your message needs to get out there. You're just not relevant to platforms that matter. So your goal isn't to be a YouTube influencer. Your goal is to then promote your business. I want you to sell more. Right? By having the awareness and attention on you that people know who you are, you're gonna sell more product. He gets people into his funnel, right? They love your content. Yeah. They're gonna want more access, right? Join my mastermind, buy my next book, support my thing with Tony, right? They're gonna do it because they love him, because he's given so much value in the ongoing emails. We're thought leaders, right? At least if you're gonna make content, you're a thought leader. I'm not coming to you because uh, you know your underwear commercials, right? It's right. thought leader. Even though those are good. Right? Those can be great. That's a different business. <laughs> Brand deal. So to teach me to think like you think. You walk in, like all of you guys are, you're, you're a special group to be here in Joe's network. You walk into this room and you you see the world differently than most people. Even the way it's set up, like you look at it and just different thoughts will happen in your mind that the average Joe walking outside, they don't see. It's your responsibility to share that. And, and you make your money, the free people will lead you to the paid people. It's a funnel.
right? You'll get a million views on your video, and, and X thousand will then sign up for your newsletter list, and, and then a hundred of them will be hardcore fans for life, will buy everything you ever put out. I made over a thousand videos, everything is in Dutch, so I'm, I'm, a, I'm a big fish in a small pond. Okay. And uh, this year is the year that I'll go global, so I'll start building my uh, brand in the okay. English speaking market, which I'm super excited about. Which advice would you give me when it comes to a blueprint or a framework when it comes to, for example, YouTube? I would make daily YouTube videos talking about the things that matter to you most. Yeah. And expect to suck at the beginning. Not in terms of being on camera. It's the results won't be there yet. Yeah. And it's hard to have the humility to yeah. suck yeah. on your numbers at the beginning yeah. while you just try to build up. Like really good. That's really good. Yeah. I think Dean, I have 1.8 million subscribers on my YouTube channel. I think Dean should have 10. Like, he's better than me. Yeah. The, the, we were talking about the well of of knowledge, he has a deep well of knowledge. Yeah. He could talk for from all his decades of experience. I don't have that. I haven't done as much. I think he should be ahead of me, but he's got like thirty thousand subscribers or something. Yeah. It's hard to look at that. YouTube is a is a is a long game branding, but it's the best of every platform yeah. because your content lives forever. <coughs> Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, Snap, all of it. The content goes away. Like you're not looking at anybody's Instagram from three days ago. Your YouTube videos now, in seven years, will still be driving leads and traffic yeah. and awareness for you. So every single day, yeah. an eight to 12 minute video on something that means something to you. And don't let the editing get in the way. Take your cell phone out, because yeah. it's your thoughts. Yeah. That's not how fancy it is. I don't see myself as a show, I'm a channel. I'm a channel. I wish I could have 24 seven new content coming out, brand new on the channel. That's why I push these guys. Like, if Dean was pumping up great content, I could do more. <coughs> Right? If Joe had great content, I could do more. If I could do, if I would do three a day, which time frame would you advise? It doesn't matter. YouTube is a long game. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. But but the most important thing is the consistency. Yeah. So three a day forever. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I had I had five five years ago I had seven thousand subscribers on my channel. We're at one point eight million now because I did three videos every day for five years. So. And people won't know you. Like you guys know Tom Billu? Yeah. 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 Impact Theory. Yeah. yeah. So Tom. Tom Bilyeu, the first video I did on him, top 10, tanked, hard, because people didn't know who this guy was. Mm. And I remember making him, man, I love this guy, Tom. Yeah. It's great to have a fresh voice. And I, I remember writing to him and saying, Tom, like, just keep going, man, just keep going, you're gonna get it. And now he's blowing up. Yeah. Dave Meltzer, you guys yeah. know Dave Meltzer? Mm -hmm. oh, yeah. He's like, in my view, a year behind Tom. He started, mm -hmm. his stuff tanked, just not yeah. doing well, and it's hard for a guy who's speak and, yeah. and won all these awards and all this stuff and now like you're sucking because yeah. people don't know nobody knows you yeah. that's the problem yeah. zero yeah. like if i don't know you this is the space i live in yeah. nobody knows you yeah. and so it takes time to get used to yeah. your message your voice your accent all of it and it's just the humility to say i'm gonna make i would say if you made a video a day for a year and you were good yeah. the fire was human like it's awesome content will start to blow up, yeah. but it's hard to keep going. Yeah. I've been doing it for 90 days, yeah. no results. Yeah. That's why it's hard on direct marketing, because like, if that's your mindset, yeah. this is a branding game. Yeah. You will not get immediate exactly. results, but the exposure will be insane if you keep going. Yeah. And I'm, I'm looking forward to doing a top 10 on you, man. Yeah, me too. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, really good. So what about the, the title of the channel, the title of the video, uh, what you put in the tags? Uh, do you advertise it? Most video? of it doesn't matter in a YouTube world. Most of it is still branding. Most of it is Dean's putting out a video. I like this guy, Dean. I want to dive deeper into his world, and whatever he calls it, I'm gonna watch it. The bigger channels, as you grow, most of your views will come from suggested videos, not search. Suge so suggested videos are when you watch a video down the sidebar, yeah. there's or a mobile underneath mm -hmm. that says, okay, this video's done, go watch these ones next. And so, the most important thing that for conversion, because I love, I'm an optimizer. You guys, I love it. This, this is my tribe. They need to know that there's consistency in the brand. So one of the first things I was working with Dean on was your thumbnails are all over the place. The thumbnail design has to be similar. So I recognize your video. Because your videos play. Oh, I like that. Oh, this Dean's this Dean guy's wild. I like him. In the sidebar, there's five other Dean videos, but I don't know they're Dean videos because they're all yeah. there's Dean in the background, or it's a red video. It's it's, it's all over the place. So the branding. So I want to know, like anybody who's followed my channel, you know what a Devon Chronicle thumbnail looks like. You know what it, you mean. I like it, but you know what it is. 
I want that for all of you. So the first thing when working with Dean's team was, okay, Dean's face has to be big on every video. We need a consistent dark background. We need his logo, which is his signature, at the bottom left of every single video so that when, I, when he comes up in the sidebar, I know that's a Dean video and I'm gonna click on it because I love Dean. So people are bleeding views just because they're confused and they don't know that that's your video. That's way more important than putting a, a SEO keyword in the title. Now, the, treat your headline as, the, as, a, as a magazine ad or like an email subject line. Like the headline is more about emotion than it is about ranking for a keyword. So I see that headline and I wanna click. And in the thumbnail, put text on it. Best version I found is big face on the side because it's mobile. So some of yours, like he's so far in the background when it's mobile, I don't even know who that is, right? I wanna know that that's Dean. Big face and then a shorter version, like three to five words on the thumbnail design itself. But use all your direct marketing experience. You guys are better than me at that stuff. You should be crushing me on YouTube. <laughs> I'm legit like, dummies are winning without optimizing very well just because they started and they're in the platforms that matter. And in dinosaurs from other industries, you have to optimize to be able to continue to win because it's getting harder. Yeah, but are they making any money? Yes, yes. yes. Yeah, of course. Yeah. Like, you have to start by understanding that when you have attention, you make money. When people yeah. are paying attention to you, when your brand means something, you make money. Nike is not winning off of direct marketing. You know one. Nike. Like, you have something to sell. That's a legit product or service where you wouldn't be in this room. Right? Like, you're, you're passion-driven business, business owners or you're not in Joe's network. I mean, I don't know any of you, but besides Dane's content, but you're here because you have an important mission and you're creating products and services that are changing the world. So it's your duty to get it out there and build a business model around getting awareness. Evan, was there, was there a tipping point moment for you where it was, it's not working, it's not working, it's not working, and all of a sudden it kind of took on the effort? Going daily made a big difference for me. So we're three times a day, going once a week to going daily made a huge difference. Just in getting the volume of content out, and what you'll find is people will watch one video of yours and they'll watch another and they'll dive down this. They end up like wanting to kill themselves and then they watch one Dean video and they, they spend four hours watching his content and they decide, I've had that. Like people have watched my videos and I was, I was going to drive my car off the bridge and I put it on your channel and decided to turn around. And so they, they dive down this, this rabbit hole of YouTube they learn about you, they sign up for the next, like they'll subscribe to the channel, they'll, they'll sign up for your newsletter, they'll, they'll pay for shipping to get Dean's book. And now you're in the funnel. And from there, you guys know what to do. I'm not gonna teach you about funnels and marketing and all that, like you guys are way ahead of me. I just want you to be relevant in the platforms that matter. Did you do any paid? I'm not the paid guy. No I don't do any paid. No, we got quarter billion, no paid. Even to get going, even to get it It actually hurts you on YouTube. If you're doing paid, I would do it as an ad that you don't want to see uh, organic traffic on. Because YouTube, if you pay for a video, they'll want you to keep paying for it and they'll downrank that video. Mm -hmm. So it's one of the biggest fights that I had with another another guy, I won't say his name, but he, it's the vanity metrics. Like, hey, I want to have 100k views on this video. We could just buy it cheap and get it going. Yeah, but you're going to destroy your organic ranking there. And watch time is the biggest metric on YouTube, too. They want you to continue to watch videos on YouTube can separate that. They can. The ads versus, like they know that it's paid. Yeah. And the most important thing is watch time through the session. If I make a video, but then they spend eight hours watching Joe's videos, my video started that session, Yeah. I'm getting credit for starting that session. And guys, you're here. Like you're building real businesses, not fake stuff. So it needs patience. Like you didn't get here by just exploding in three months. It's patience and drive and determination and doing the right thing. And so apply the same thing. You're looking for the hacks and shortcuts, but it still has to be ethically driven. Do you bring this energy to your videos? I try, but, but like, I'm not the greatest speaker, right? Like I'm working on it. No, but you're amazing. Better. You're firing me up. Because like, cause like yeah, because I see a bunch of winners here yeah, but and I'm trying to apply pressure to have you do something. But bring this energy to your videos, man. I need to, I need to do a better job. When I'm in front of people, it's better. And, and like I see that most, listen, 80% of you are gonna, are gonna say, well, that's okay, and then go home and do nothing. 90%, great, even in a group of achievers. I got, I got Dean to commit and do more, and that, that I'm done, like I'm, the day's a winner. I still want Joe to do more, because I every time I watch his channel, I get pissed, and I watch all his videos, I'm pissed. 
Dan is probably not going to do it, but if we spend more time together, we'd make it happen. And then everybody else... Have your people call my people. <laughs> it starts with a decision, that's all. I just need to get you guys in the mindset that, hey, if you had hundreds of millions of people watching your content, then that would lead to success. You know how to do all the optimization and the, and the titles and, all, and, and be a great speaker and all of this stuff better than me. I'm a dummy. You know, yeah, it's, it's a really good point because there's that, I love the line, is the juice worth the squeeze? And part of this is it's it's definitely worth the squeeze. You just got to be willing to in the beginning. It's going to be you know it's just it's a setup. You're going to suck. It's a setup process. Yeah. Just like everything else. When you yeah. when all you started your businesses, you suck. Yeah. You just crush it out of the gate. You suck. So I'm here to apply Any pressure to you, out? right? It's like <laughs> no, no. I, lo I love it. This is great. Yeah. Super valuable. Continue to believe, and I'll see you there.